the COVID-19 pandemic represents an unprecedented disruption to the global economy and world trade. The world's least developed countries, known as LDCs, are amongst the hardest hit by this global crisis. Their already fragile economies are now facing borders closed to trade and tourism, supply chain disruption, and troubles in accessing trade finance. The future of official development assistance and aid for trade remain unclear. While some scenarios outlined by the OECD would see increases in ODA, one scenario would see a decline by up to $14 billion. Access to trade finance was already a considerable challenge for LDCs, even prior to the pandemic. As of 2019, the global trade finance gap was estimated to be 1.5 trillion US dollars, and the pandemic is only widening this gap. The consensus is that public finances alone will not be enough to help LDCs recover from COVID-19. Innovative financing leads to more efficient use of funding resources, one such approach is blended finance, when a government or philanthropic institution makes an initial investment in a project to attract funding from the private sector. Least developed countries currently receive the lowest volume of blended finance. Between 2012 and 2018, just 6% of private finance mobilised was in LDCs. Now, more than ever, action and investment into aid for trade is required to ensure that the world's least developed countries do not drift further from the global trade system. EIF and partners offer various channels through which donors direct aid for trade investments and support LDCs to boost their economies, leaving no one behind.